YouTube, it's your boy King Cobra. Just got done picking up Puff's poop out of his cage. He laid a fat, juicy one to pick up. I got that picked up. Gave him a, a little bit of live crickets to fuck with. But today, Cobra fam, we're making a uh, a Puff food food treat. For my Beardy Dragon. Bearded Dragons, they love blueberries and bell peppers and romaine lettuce. Stuff like that. And we're doing Patreon shoutouts. As soon as I get my uh, official drink combo for Patreon. I do exclusive Patreon drink combos. That's a good looking bell pepper. So I'll be doing that when I get the drink combo. But for now, we're going to make a delicious food hack for Puff. So we got uh, some fresh blueberries and uh, some of that romaine lettuce. I would have puffed some more worms, so I had to tear a little bit of that lettuce off to feed the worms. So to make this treat for Puff, we're going to take that, go like that. I'll give him this piece real quick. So I put the uh, the top half of that right there in his cage in the shade for him to eat because this is going to be our main focus. See those holes? We're going to stuff those holes. <laughs> stuff the holes, he said. With some fresh romaine lettuce. Now I do food hacks where I create delicious food for myself. And I know what Puff likes to eat. I've been doing my research. So we're gonna just take this romaine lettuce and we're gonna stuff stuff it in the in this part right here. Stuff them holes with some delicious fresh romaine lettuce. Do a small piece in each other hole. Now, I know bearded dragons can have bell peppers because I did the research. But that's the only pepper they can have. Anything spicier than a bell pepper is not for your beardy. So, there we are. Want to wash your hands thoroughly before preparing food. Stuffed bell pepper for your bearded dragon, huh? <laughs> yes. Take a bunch of that romaine lettuce and we're going to stuff it into our bell pepper. This is probably making vegans really hungry right now. <laughs> now it's a little bit of room in each hole for our final ingredients. We're going to stuff that 
bell pepper with lettuce. I ordered another heat light, so when his heat light bulb goes out, I can replace it and not, and not have to worry about using the emergency backup. The UVB tube light, you're only supposed to check like once, once a year, so we're good on that. Stuffed. Stuffed bell pepper for your lizard. Oh, yeah, our beardies will love this. Beautiful. I'm gonna leave some room for our, our final ingredients. We'll put a little bit more, a little bit more in these other two holes. Right here. I gave him a hard boiled egg and he destroyed that in like two days, dude. No, no joke. Push that down in there. Beautiful. I'm gonna have a handful of lettuce to fuck with by itself. Now look at our bell pepper. It's stuffed with romaine lettuce. So now we're gonna add some calcium powder. Metro says he needs extra calcium powder in his diet right now. So we're gonna put a little bit in each hole. Eh, put it in the hole, he says. And you get some of the calcium powder. Still have a little bit left. Do a nice sprinkle of calcium powder into his onto his pepper here. Kind of pat that down. Beautiful. Calcium powder is good for your bearded dragon. It helps with healthy skin and nails. Okay. Take a look at our our puffers treat. Looking beautiful. And now for the coupe de resistance, we're going to add some blueberries. Because bearded dragons love blueberries, and they're really good for them, too. Mm. 
Blueberries. Uh, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> All right. Now I'll just take some uh, some blueberries and we're going to boop. Stuff the remaining space in the holes with some blueberries. Really easy recipe to make. And your bearded dragon will love this, YouTube. <laughs> so I'm gonna just stuff the top of these holes with some fresh blueberries. And then I'm gonna set this delicious treat for my lizard. More like food, if you ask me. Oh, it's a treat and it's food, you know. Bearded dragons love bell peppers and blueberries and romaine lettuce. So we're just going to sit here, YouTube, and we're going to stuff our bell pepper full of blueberries on the top. Packing some blueberries, man. Right now I'm working on my story, Dragon Cobra. I'm going through and just editing what I already typed. And it's good. I'm not going to stunt YouTube. It's good. Like... The genetics I use for the perfect snake in this story are truly terrifying. I love snakes, don't get it twisted, but even I wouldn't fuck with the dragon cobra, you know? It's just that deadly of a snake. But anyways, back to what we're doing here. Trying to stuff as many blueberries into this pepper as I can. So it gets a real treat. So you can make a stuffed bell pepper for your bearded dragon. Just load it with food they can eat, like romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce is the perfect lettuce for your beardy. Get in there. Get in there. I'm going to stuff blueberries in there until we can't stuff them no more. I mean, this bell pepper is stuffed with romaine lettuce, blueberries, and a little bit of calcium powder on top. Stuff this fucker fat with blueberries. Try to include more live bugs and more fresh fruits and vegetables for my puffers. Instead of just, you know, the pellets are great for like a backup if you don't have anything, but I prefer to feed puff fresh vegetables and, and fruits like blueberries, romaine, lettuce, you know. There's certain fruits that beauties can't have. So you gotta do your research, people. You gotta do your research, people. I'm 
Oh, why are my neighbor's dogs barking? I hear it. Aw. Get to the point where I can't stuff any more blueberries into this pepper, but we're gonna max it out. Let's stuff about four more in here. Pack it nice and tight full of blueberries. Wow, chef's kiss. That's a good looking uh, bell pepper. Ordered it from Albertsons through DoorDash. Let's try some of these blueberries. Get a small handful here. Mm. Uh huh. Those blueberries are delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that beautiful sexiness right there. Now for the king of all bearded dragons. Hey, puffers. Hey, bud. Look what I got. Look what I got. Yeah. Well, I'll set it in his cage. Kind of prop it up against his log. Just like that. On the cooler side of the cage. Hey, you know what? I'll put it over here. Over here in the corner. Right there. I gave him some regular romaine lettuce. And we're gonna take that and just put it on top of his, on top of his uh, pepper. There we are. Bon appetit, puffers. <laughs> He's such a good looking lizard. <laughs> hey, Puff, what do you guys think of the camera? You're a good lizard owner, Josh. Fuck your trolls. Your trolls need to get laid more than you do. Puff. I already told you that I taught Puff to be a ventriloquist. He can talk without moving his mouth. Fuck the trolls. I am Puff the Bearded Dragon. I am the king of all bearded dragons. Well, there you go. Puff said it. I mean, shit. Fuck the trolls. Yeah, you said it, Puffers. Now I'm gonna mist Puff. One second. In his spray bottle, I put some calcium and some cold water so that when I spray him, like, he gets extra calcium. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're all right, Puff. You're all right, bud. Just going to give you a quick mist. His tail's looking a lot better. This part right here was super dry, but now you can see all his colors are coming out. Look at him closing his eyes, like, yes, he's enjoying it. <laughs> Here's a pampered lizard. Gonna spray the rest of his body too. Really pay attention to his tail where that scale rot was going on. I don't think it was scale rot. I'm not sure what the fuck it was. But Metro said I gotta soak him three times a week until that clears up. So in between soak sessions, I'll spray the spot on his tail that needed the most attention.
Oh, he does another. Oh, you're all right, Puff. You're good. Just sprain your other leg. Watch out, bud. <laughs> you can tell he's enjoying it because he's all smiling and closing his eyes. That's my Puff Puff. <laughs> Get underneath your chin. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. He's got plenty of food. I threw some live crickets in there. They're all scampering about. He's a handsome beardy. <laughs> You be a good boy, Puff. There we are, folks. Delicious food for the Puffers. Also, like I said, I picked up a brand new light bulb. So when his heat light goes out, I can replace it. I got the other one right here, which is the backup that came with the enclosure originally. And I got him some another container of worms. So yeah, he's doing good. <laughs>